Hey everybody, my name is Damian Scott. I'm a senior at Coppin State University, English and History double major, and I graduate in the spring 2018. I was an English major simply because in high school, in middle school, everywhere I went, English was my most natural subject. And really in elementary school, I would I would read books during lunchtime. None of my classmates were doing that. I would, I would read over the summer. We came back from summer break, our teacher asked who read over the summer. I raised my hand. She said, how many books? I said, seven. And everybody was like, well, you read that. But I thought that was just, I didn't get to it as many as I wanted to. I remember my ninth grade year, I wrote a poem. And my English teacher stopped class. He stopped class, took me out the room, ran me down the hallway to a room with a bunch of our administrators. In. He made me force him to read my poem in front of the administrators. He told me from that moment, like, when you go to college, wherever you go, you want to be an English major. So when the time came, I got to college, I signed up to be an English major. He wrote probably one of the best op-ed pieces I have ever seen a student write. It was a tour de force. So he made this movement, and I guess in that movement, I saw him move from someone who knew absolutely nothing about journalism to someone who was controlling the entire publication in a matter of three semesters. For me, you know, that's one of the joys of teaching is running across a student like Damien Scott, someone who would just give the barest sort of you know, impulse to do something to. And he takes it and runs. You know, he takes it the full length of everything. I came in wanting to be a double major, so I, I, I flirted with psychology, I flirted with uh, social work. I just wanted to learn more about people. History was a little different and it was it was better than I expected it and it it, it made me want more. I, I wanted to learn more about me, myself, where I came from, African American. I switched jobs my junior year. I had a better paying job. That's the only reason I can think of why my financial aid was lower than what I expected it to be. My Pell Grant was, was lower. I'm begging anybody who will listen Give me money. I'm trying to. I'm a serious student. You know, I take my academics seriously. I want, I'm asking anybody to, to show up for me. It, it was the links. It was the Baltimore chapter of the links. I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, I was familiar with them, and I knew that um, they they work on the community in general, but they also work on empower, empowering African American women. I think that it's it's extremely important to be able to fund the interest of our students, to let them go you know, as far as they want to go in the field. If, you, if they don't have that money, you just don't know where, you know, you know what they could have done. So I'm very happy you know, that he was able to get outside funding for his research and his studies and to hone his skills. It meant a lot to me that, uh, that the links would give me this. I you know, wrote my thank you letter and I went to talk to them during the, the thank you um, brunch that we had and it was a great experience. They genuinely wanted to know more about me and I could genuinely communicate. They were genuinely interested. Thank you. <laughs> I really needed this money. It really helped me graduate. My plan is to go to graduate school. So this money has a long term investment. I'm getting my PhD in Africana Studies and I'm going to use that to help build my community. So the same thing that the Lynx did for me, that's the same thing that I'm trying to do. So I would say that this money that they gave me is going to go full circle because when I'm at the position to finally give back to others, that same thing is going to happen.